Hello, welcome to Project Overland. I'm Project, and I am going overland. Um, and it's all uh, it's all moving forward. We're inside the uh, habitation unit of Rosie, which is uh, the converted army truck that I uh, that uh, I got. And uh, if you don't know all about that story, go check out the previous vlogs. And um, yeah, well, I want to show you what we've done today. So um, I'd say I would say I, but I haven't. Because it's as usual, it's um, other people with their um, better and uh, cleverer uh, um, means. So uh, they've been assisting, and we've been measuring and um, working out and looking at the plan and seeing what's available. So uh, without further ado, let me turn you around. So hold on. <laughs> Going over land in um, a big truck. You can't say that. Storm is coming, but I'm prepared. So, um, okay, so what you're looking at here is the blue line for the bathroom and the purple line for the kitchen area and then if we move it around hopefully because it's what I okay green line Ugh, these bloody gimbals that I can't use properly the green lines are for the wardrobe and for the sofa so I'm just going to tip you up so you can see that there's the wardrobe there and that's the sofa edge there Coming down to that point there. There we go. So you can see now in the corner where the sofa is, is going to be the rotating table. And water tank goes under the sofa in the centre there, in that big square rectangular box. Square box, come on. Rectangular box. Um, that's where we've got to so far. So uh, it's not a massive step forward, but it's, it's important to get this um you know this bit right you get this bit wrong uh and you'll and you'll know about it later we've we measured up and we've put out that tape uh, we found a couple of good things that we've we've discovered and uh um, some extra bits that we got oh i'll ask actually do you know what we can do this so that's really nice i've got some great ideas coming forward i'll tell you about those at a later date when we actually when we've made it happen um but let me tell you about one thing um so, uh, kudos and tips to my uh, brother-in-law, who is a uh, um, army instructor for um, the big stuff, Oshkosh, big things, ADR instructor. But he came out to have a look, and um, he's come up with some really, really useful tips and a couple of things, and we discussed a few things. And uh, I think overall, one of the things that I would say that came out of it is, um, in previously, uh, when we were talking about this, and I've looked at it all, I always wanted a sky hatch. So I put the sky hatch over the bed, which is where a lot of people put them. You've seen the sky hatch, that's where it goes. It's a great idea. The reason the sky hatch is in there, um, partly is to get onto the roof, uh, partly where it's there is the ladder comes down from the roof so that it then rests onto the bed, so that you've got some support for the ladder. Yada, yada, yada. Actually, but I've put it in the wrong place. I think it should have gone over the lounge. The lounge itself's got some, it's got some good um, ventilation. It's got the, it has got the big safari hatch, uh, which will let light out. And it's got the, the, the door that'll open obviously. Uh, and it's got the twin lights, the twin skylights. But having that safari hatch in the top there would have been, it would have been a pain in the ass. Pain in the, yeah, that one pain of the blue to get out of um or through onto the, onto the front of the truck but it would have let so much more light and fresh air into that end and actually you don't need it as much in that bedroom area i think so i think therefore if i was doing it again um that's probably what i would do so if you're making one of these and you're following me along and you're thinking well, i quite like that i quite like that project's top tip think very carefully about where you put your sky hatch 
So I'm going to give you an unusual view here. Um, it's not normally a lot of people will do this. Um, so we've, we're in the garage, or you're in the garage, 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 um, and um, uh, above you, there's two uh, light fittings in the ceiling. One there, one just above that. Uh, the, the, the lens we can get to. Um, but I just want to show you something. So the reason why I come around here is this unit here. Uh, get my hand in. What? That is a Ostent folding table. That is an Ostent um, stretcher bare single bed fold out bed. And then there's an, over in the corner there, there's an Austin chair, which I'm putting in. Um, and in here um, also, which I haven't really, I've not been able to show you. I need to see if I can get it out and I'll stop the tape in a minute, I'll get that out. But I want to show you something, um, which is um, just how high up this truck is. So I'm going to go around the other side. Uh, you'll have to bear with me. I'll speed it up, but I'll, but I'll go around as quick as I can. Wait there. So this is me having to climb up a three set of step ladders. I'm a hundred. I'm six foot one, 185, 184 centimeters, and I've got to basically climb up a step ladder to get in here. If you look at the size of all the stuff that's in here. Um, you know that's my arm reach there. So that's over a meter long. This box. So I know somebody said something about depth perception on the camera, so I thought I'd explain it. And you can see then, if I reach out, that's my full extent reach. So that's like two meters-ish from there to there. Well, we know how big it is. It's 1.6, meters, five and a half foot, because that's the bed that's above it. Um, so there's quite a lot of usable space here. And what, but what we are gonna do, is this is the space is going to get used by the batteries, the electrics, um, just out of sight to your left as you look at the screen now is going to be the cassette for the portally, the portally, the cassette toilet, um, and then just here on this side right here, I think this is where the washing machine is going to go. Whether I access the washing machine from this side coming in through the locker or through a door into the main hub, yet to be decided, see how we can figure that out. So there you go. That's that thought process. Ignore the rest of the junk. It's just all those bits I bought. You know the ones I've shown you over the, over the previous time. It's like um, there we go. We'll get there eventually. Right. Back in a minute. This is the thing I wanted to show you, which I was quite pleased because I didn't know I was getting these, and they were put in by Motorcraft. Now it's not. They match the cup holders. I think they're a bit bling for me. So I think I'm gonna probably spray them. Sorry, but I think I need to spray them black. But look at them, jerry can holders. How nice are those? And of course, all that honeycomb means it's super lightweight. Look. Is it nickel pleated steel? So proper thing. You can buy them if you like them. Quick sales pitch for Motocraft there. <laughs> I don't get paid for that. They didn't give them to me and say, give us a sales pitch. You can have these. I'll just do it because I'm nice. Now, one last thing to show you, because I haven't just noticed it, and I don't know if you can see this, because it's filming in towards the light, she's putting everything in shadow. But up here is the bottom of the spare tire. Yeah, look how the locker doors are in line, perfectly in line with that. How cool is that? I never noticed that before. That's attention to detail. So let's go and have a closer look at this. I know you've seen it. So that's the winch arm there. Swing it out. There's the big tray. There's the bit. I mentioned before, so I'm just going to turn you around. So, you can see I am stood underneath it. So, and on the back here, swing around a minute ago with this, behind me on this wall, I'm 
gonna hang the uh, the bridging ladders. So fasten those on. So there we go. That's about it. So uh, thanks for joining us. I'm gonna talk to you in a little bit about planning of trip. So uh, stay on because the first trip is starting to formulate itself. And I'll talk to you about that in a minute. All right, so this is just a quick update. And uh, had a bit of a bit of a win. And um, one of the bargains. And uh, it's always a matter of time. with like timing and everything. But if you can drop onto something quickly, pay up with readies, sometimes you can still get a bargain. Are you ready? Check this out. Yes, that's the floor because there's one of my slippers. Woo. Right. <laughs> Check them out. Not one, not two, but four Victron Lipe Lithium 200 amp hour. Plus all of this cable and this here mystery case. And the answer is, <laughs> Oh, I'm full of Victron goodness. That's what it is. Look at all that. Now, some of that stuff is 12 volt. So I won't be using that because I'll be using some 24 volt stuff. So I'll have some Victron um, parts to sell, which I will be able to uh, offset some of the costs of buying this. Now, the reason that junk of cables there is basically because it comes out with this hole here. And it's been pushed back in out of the way. Well, effectively, this whole case is a control module. BMS down there. So it's a whole control module with fans to run those four LiPo batteries in a whole sort of single unit. But I don't need half of that. Some of it I can use. So that will get dismantled, bits I'll use. Some of it I'll sell off and I will be able to save myself some money, which is um, all goes towards making a quality build, but for less. There you go. So keep your money handy, keep your eye out for bargains, act fast, move quickly. That's my tip. Or not so quickly that you end up with a puncture and if, the sun, if it'll get it in the sunshine, that thing out there, that cost me a rear tire. So I was 170 quid down after tyre and tracking and stuff. But never mind. This hole in the hallway. It's like, that's that, that doesn't work, is it? A hole in the hallway? Oh, that's thousands of pounds. So in the great scheme of things, I'm still up. So that's what I've been up to uh, in Rosie. Um, and there was a couple of us in there, um, socially distanced masks on uh, and all that. And um, we were talking about stuff, playing it out and discussing what could be done what can't be done and some of my wishes and stuff like this so more on that later and um uh, as it goes along so talking about how the kitchen's made and how you put the kitchen up so um i'll cover that off when it when the kitchen arrives so you know, talk you through that no point in doing it now not here so there you go planning what have i been doing here in project towers um, to do with getting away so the first place is Rose is going out for her pretty much her maiden voyage will be to the Overland Show the Adventure Overland Show which is the 5th and 6th of June um, at Stratford upon Avon uh, race course now uh, that's a horse racing course not motor racing course if anyone's looking for it um, so I'll be there so you can come along see project Overland um, see Brosy if you were that way inclined um, and um, the first actual trip is is coming up and I'm going to tell you about it and see if you can guess by the time we get to the end where I'm going so I'm going to talk you through this show you some maps and see if you can guess by the time we get to the last bit where I'm going
so that's where I'm going. Um, most people do a shakedown run around the corner. Nah, not me. Um, yeah. Should, project, you fancy building a van project, because that's the sort of thing you like doing. Bit of a four-wheel drive thing. Yeah. How big shall I do it? Ooh, I don't know. Maybe a Mercedes Sprinter. Now, do you know what? Go big, go home. Just make it on a truck, number one. Where do you fancy going in your first visit project? Do you just want to go to Wales? Do you want to go to Scotland? Do you want to go down the road down to Cornwall? No, go big, go home. Just do Iceland. <laughs> I'm either certifiably insane or just... And I'm not quite sure. that I'm not brave. I think it is just stupidity. Um, so that's where I'm going so far. And, and it's all thanks to a mate of mine. Um, who we shall call H. Um, and H is uh, he's driving around in one of these. And he's a lifelong uh, traveller. And he's been down through Africa twice. Um, and he's basically, yeah, he's... Um, I don't know what you're going to say. He's certifiable. That's how I think so. I think I've mentioned it before. The guy goes out camping and sleeps in the tent. I, I've, I've got a bigger pencil case than his tent. I'm telling you. And he's, he's ginormous. He's way taller than I am. So, um, just crazy, man. Anyway, um, um, Iceland's been on my list. He's been before. Iceland's been on my bucket list. And I've got to that point where I'm going, I need to do this bucket list stuff. So I want to go and do it. Um, at least some of them, because you just don't know what's around the corner. So, as we've discussed. So it's like, no, do you know what? I've got the vehicle. I've got the time. And I've currently got the money. <laughs> There is no better time for it. You never know what's going to happen. Stop putting it off, project. Get on with it. So I'm doing it. Um, I'll come up with the costings at another point because I'm not quite sure. I'm waiting for a answer back uh, from the ferry operator because obviously the truck is a motorhome, but it's a bit, it's quite big and heavy. So I'm not quite sure where she fits on the tariff. So, but I'm not going to see any change out of probably in fuel. And ferry crossings, five thousand euros. So what's that about? Yeah, maybe even five thousand pounds, six thousand euros, seven thousand bucks, something like that. Yeah, so it's not going to be cheap. But if you think about how expensive it is and it's to stay in Iceland, and you look at all the number of nights you'd stay in a hotel, I'm not going. I'm not going overnight. I'm not going there for just five days. I'm going for. Well, what are we going for? H. Um, I think it's like one week out, one week back, because we're going by the fair runs. The minimum of two weeks, probably a bit more, on Iceland itself. So, um, sort yourself out, Iceland. I'm coming. So, there we go. Um, I think that's it for now. Thanks for catching up with us. Thanks for the support. Um, thanks for spending your time watching uh, Little Old Me. Well, not so Little Old Me. And... Um, appreciate it if you like what you see if you want to get some more information um yeah like subscribe that's brilliant it really does make a difference um and i would um like to see you in the next one so until then cheers thanks for watching take care Bye -bye.